G'day Tappers. My name is Glenn Wood. I'm from Down Under, otherwise known as Australia. Welcome to um, my YouTube channel and I'm about to embark on a series of free online tap lessons for you. Now we'll be doing beginner standard, intermediate standard and advanced standard. I seem to have been tap dancing all my life, starting out as a youngster in the country village where I grew up, um, moving to Newcastle, then to Sydney. I was a performer with tap dance. I was a teacher. And then I created the Glenwood Tap Syllabus. But that's not what we're here for today. We're here to present to you some tap lessons that you can do at home. Now, over these videos, you'll also get to see a little bit about me. Now you see me in my home studio here, the black curtains, the bar, the tarket, three studio lights blazing in my face. But we'll also be going outside a bit because I'm a keen gardener. But you're going to see more about that later. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's get started with our very first lesson. Now, you've all have a kitchen chair or kitchen bench, whatever. Grab that, I'm using my bar, hand out to the side, and we're just simply going to do nerve beats. Nerve beats, you say? Well, it's important to loosen up the ankle. Um, and it's a bit like doing scales if you're learning piano. We do this exercise to warm the feet up, where scales warm the fingers up. So here we go, we're going to go eight tap step, eight beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boring, let's try four and eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Knock and turn, try the other side and one, two, three, four. Now it doesn't matter if you're a scratch beginner or a seasoned professional, you need to loosen up your ankles and you cannot beat the nerve beat. Now, one of the hardest things to do in tap dance, believe it or not, is beat, 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 beat. I'll turn around and have a look at this. Beat, beat, again, beat, beat. Now we'll use that everywhere as we go along. So don't forget, let's do four of those. Do a click in between. Five, six, seven, eight. Beat, 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 beat. Just for good measure, four more. Five, six, seven, eight. A one, a two, a three, a four. Now, the other step in tap dance that is so important is the shuffle. Now, it's where you hit the ground going forward, swinging your leg and hitting the floor again, swinging your leg back, so it's forward, back. Now, I like to use a full action of the leg, especially from the knee, nice and loose. So it goes forward and back, forward and back, forward and back, forward and back. Let's do eight of those, shall we? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and turn around. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and. All right. Now, we loosen that up we change the rhythm. Instead of going one, two, we're going to go a one. So it goes a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, a eight. Five, six, seven, eight. A one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's put those together. Remember we did beat, 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 beat. 
we'll put the shuffle with it. One shuffle, one beat beat. So it goes. Shuffle, beat beat, shuffle, beat beat. Try it on the other leg. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's change over. We'll do three on one side and go flat. Three on the other side and go flat. Here we go. Three shuffle beat beats and flat. Five, six, seven, eight. A one, a two, a three, flat. A one, a two, a three, flat. And so forth. Anyway, that's all for today. Watch out for tomorrow and we'll see what else we have coming up here on Tap Dance From Down Under. Thank you for watching.